Okay, in this video, we're going to set up and start using a virtual environment. And it's important when you're using Django to use virtual environments. And if you're not familiar with them, they're just like little walled gardens inside of your computer. So inside of our virtual environment, we're going to install Django, install our project, do all the things. And it's good for a lot of reasons. You can use different versions of Django inside of your virtual environment. And then, you know, outside in your regular computer, there's no Django installed at all. So you might have an old website that requires a certain version of Django. You can install just that version in your virtual environment. And it's good for a bunch of other reasons too. It's just standard best practices. So head over to your Windows Start menu, type in Git Bash and open up your Git Bash terminal. And the first thing we wanna do is make a directory. That's MKDIR. And we wanna just create a directory that's gonna hold all of our project files. So I wanna put this in the C drive and let's just call this uh, Django API. Now we want to move into that directory, change directory, CD, uh, C Django API. And if we type LS, we could see there's nothing in there. Okay, so now we want to set up and start using our virtual environment. So to do this, Python comes with a virtual environment that we're going to use. And to use it, we just go Python dash M VENV stands for virtual environment and then name this thing. What do we want our virtual environment to be called? Well, I just usually call it Vim virtual environment and we'll see why in just a second. So hit enter, it might take a couple of seconds. Okay, so now if we type in LS to list the stuff in this directory, we see there's this new VENV folder. So to turn this on now, we type in source and then that directory and then the scripts directory and then activate. Okay, and you'll notice every time I hit enter now, there's this little VENV in parentheses. That means the virtual environment has been turned on. So that's on Windows. I think on a Mac, in order to turn it on, you type in source, and then I think it's bin activate. So if you're on a Mac, that should do the trick. So now we're in our virtual environment. To turn this off, we can just type in deactivate, and boom, you can see that VENV thing is gone. So to turn it back on, again, just source VENV scripts, activate, and boom, the little VENV thing is back. So now let's type in pip freeze, and this will show all of the Python things that are installed. And you can see there's nothing installed because this is a brand new virtual environment. There's nothing in this virtual environment. There's no Python things have been installed. So we have a fresh sort of brand new start and that's exactly what we want. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and install uh, Django and some of the other tools that we're gonna need to, for the course. And we'll do that straight from the terminal. It'll be super quick and easy. And that'll be in the next video.